Hello my friends, I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Today we'll be taking a look at a Euro-inspired area enclosure worker placement bluffing game, which is heavy on downtime, but still gateway-ish and fiddly. With an experience Hello. Hello. Board games have a lot of terminology, and uh, what do they all mean? I mean, worker placement, you kind of can guess what it is. It is a worker who you place somewhere, and you have a deck building. Do you build a deck of cards, a house, or what is it? So, I'm gonna start out easily with uh, one of my favorite genres, and that is worker placement. In worker placement, you usually, usually have a set of workers or uh, pieces that you can place out on a board, and these places indicate actions that you can do and those actions are usually limited to being used one time and if not more expensive for the next person to go there so worker placement is often about being the first one to go to a certain specific action and getting a certain benefit by doing that and also you have a limit of workers you can place out and it's always important to time it correctly so that it's working for your benefit. And sometimes people will ruin your plans by placing the workers where you want to go even though it doesn't benefit them directly but they just want to stop you. Well that's it for now and I hope it's been very educational for you and the next time I'll look at something else maybe explain to you why Norway is the capital of Sweden or no it's not. Yeah. Well, I hope that cleared things up for you. Until next time, have fun gaming.